How to use Code's Otaku Cutscene plugin in Roblox Studio. Go to View, select Toolbox, and find the plugin called Code's Otaku Cutscene. This is a very easy to use cutscene plugin that many people use. Install the plugin and check your plugin page for this plugin. I will teach you the basics of how to use it. Start by naming your cutscene and pressing Create Cutscene. A cutscene folder will be created in the workspace to store the camera positions for your cutscene. You can press Capture Camera Position to position the camera in your view. The more cameras you press, the more sequence your cameras will follow in the path they appear. You can press Undo Capture to undo the previous camera position, and Reset to undo all cameras in the cutscene. FOV or Field of View Used to adjust wide angle or narrow angle images. Tilt controls the rotation of the camera along the Z-axis. Delay and Duration Adjust the time the camera pauses or goes to the next keyframe. Type determines the style used in the transition. Now that you understand the plugins, try using them to create your cutscenes. When you're done with a cutscene, press Generate Script. A script will appear in Starter Player Scripts. Move this script to Starter Character Scripts. Name the script whatever you want. There are a lot of settings in this script but I'll teach you how to do a touch cutscene. When you press play, the cutscene from the plugin will play immediately with a skip button and player protection. Disable character protection visibility. Turn off play on character added to prevent cutscenes from playing when you press play. At play on part touch, you can select the part you want to touch to play the cutscene with value. Disable the Cutscene Skip button. Click Play in Roblox Studio and start testing. You're now equipped to start coding in Roblox Studio. Let your creativity run wild and see what you can build.